In this video, we're going to talk about the six major modes. And modes are like gods and goddesses. They have very different characteristics. So the ones I'm going to be covering are Lydian, Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Aeolian, and Phrygian. There's actually the seventh mode, which is Locrian, but it's not a real mode because it doesn't have a strong sense of a tonal center, just because it has a flat fifth scale degree. So the modes are very cool. They go from uh, very sunny, very extroverted, very kind of um, happy sounding to gradually to very moony sounding. And that's Phrygian. It has a flat two, three, six, and seventh degree of the scales. So I've marked each of the modes with the different scale degrees. You can see here, um, and I'm doing them all in C major. And the reason I'm doing all C major and applying the modes to C major is because C is like a blank canvas. So it's like, you know, your scale, your C major scale. All right, everything, you can see what gets affected for each scale degree. So let's start off with Lydian. Lydian is the, the most sunny out of all the modes and it is has a sharp four. So if I take C major and I sharp that four, So you kind of have like a whole tone scale thing going on. So it sounds very kind of extroverted, very happy sounding. Now I could do this in any key. So I could go to G major and sharp the fourth scale degree. There's my C sharp. So now I'm in G Lydian as opposed to C Lydian. Okay, so Ionian is the typical, what we call just major scale. So. Ionian is just another name for a major scale. This is D Ionian, so it's just D major, or G Ionian. Okay, and the next mode is Mixolydian. This one has a flat or a lowered seventh degree um, in its scale. So, for example, in G major, you would have your seventh scale degree is an F sharp, so it would just become an F natural. So let's play Mixolydian. So it kind of has that, you know, in solfege, it's te do. It's not as strong as ti do. So there's a lot of energy that kind of doesn't make it want to resolve to one, but makes it want to kind of go back down. And mixolydian in other keys, for example, G major, I would just lower the seventh. Or in D mixolydian, lower that C sharp to become a C natural. Uh, the next mode is Dorian. So we have a lowered third scale degree and a lowered seventh scale degree. So we're starting to kind of become more, you could say like introverted or more um, kind of melancholic sounding. So Dorian sounds like this. So this is C Dorian. So we have the lowered third and this lowered seventh scale degree. If I wanted to do D Dorian, I would do lowered third scale degree lowered seventh scale degree. All right, the next mode is Aeolian, and this is your typical minor, natural minor scale. So we have a lowered third scale degree, lowered sixth scale degree, and lowered seventh scale degree. So in C Aeolian, it's going to look like this. Lowered third, lowered sixth, lowered seventh degree. Same as natural minor. So if I were to do um, G Aeolian, Lowered 6th degree, lowered 7th. Remember, 7th is usually sharp right here, but it's lowered F natural. And then we have Phrygian, which is lowered 2nd, 3rd, 6th, and 7th degrees. And C Phrygian looks like this. So, lowered 2nd, 3rd, 6th, and 7th. And this is one of the more moony or more introverted, darker sounding uh, modes. You have Locrian, and I don't really improvise in this mode just because there's no real sense of tonic. Um, lowered second, third, fifth, sixth, and seventh scale degrees. So it's really hard to tell what your tonic is. So another thing about the modes is you want to learn them by improvising in them. And most people, the way they learn the modes is just by looking at all the white key scales. So like that's Ionian. That's Dorian, 
This is Phrygian, Lydian, um, Aeolian, Locrian. And this is not really the most intuitive way to learn your modes just because you don't you don't really think about which notes are altered. When you stick to one scale degree or one scale and you alter the notes within just that scale, you start to see how the modes affect each scale. So I can definitely make a video on how to improvise in the modes in another video. And I'll probably um, do that for my um, patrons over at Patreon. So if you are interested and seeing a video, a longer video on how to improvise with the modes, um, you can go to my Patreon page. Thanks for joining us.